to finish our quest. Redneck Archaeology. Cemetery at Sydney Wait, Sherman. I can't hear you. We're at Sydney Sherman's house, somewhere over here. Uh, and back behind us is the island, with the Buffalo Bayou and all that good stuff. And then right back over there is the dock. Back over yonder, about half a mile, which would be about 400 yards. Well, okay. according to. According to the maps and the descriptions that we've been told, Sidney Sherman's house should be right in this vicinity, right here. You know, where it was actually within feet of it. Now the problem with that about Sidney Sherman's house is it burned down in the 1850s. Or they burned it down. Somebody burned it down. It had to have been the 60s. 1854 is when it was. So, his house was burned down before the cannons were stolen and moved here. However, why couldn't they have used the foundation? Yeah, that's true. Why they didn't know where it was. Well, uh, you know what I think I'm going to do when I get to the house is uh, I'm going to call my brother-in-law, Sidney Sherman Kendall III, who lives in Boston, and uh, both he and I are uh, uh, severely injured veterans, wounded warriors, uh, veterans. He had he lost both of his legs. Get a hold of him. Yeah, I'll do that. He, he can't run far. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Milby House right behind us this is where the Charles Milby House used to stand at. Uh, it's gone now, of course, but it was the biggest house around. This is one uh, Charles Milby was the fellow that Dr. Graves always looked for to get on his land. What are you looking at? Railroad track. It's oh, obvious. Well, this is the railroad track. This originally. This was here during the Civil War. Yeah. And this one goes west and goes all the way to Colorado. And if we go that way about a mile is the railroad track that went to Galveston, which is the very first railroad track. And it goes to the depot. So that's... Pretty much. We're here, I'm on, standing on the spot that we found what we thought was the scenic trees and still think that because that's what there was. Uh, some of the coffee bean things were hanging off of it, which was back off over here, but it looked like there's been some work being done, but there is a tree back off over there that we've seen. It. So, we're the only spot we found scenic trees is right in here. Now behind us, I want to show you Milby's land. Milby owned. Here we go. Milby, Charles Milby, who Dr. Graves always looked for, owned all of this land. Okay, I want to show you right now. 
all that land. And over here was a brickyard, which is now a chemical plant. Over here, where the park is, was just private land. Back over here was the eastern two blocks of Harrisburg that he owned. Now this was Charles Milby. Dr. Graves always came here to look for Milby to ask permission to get on his land. Well, one would could logically assume that that meant that they're buried on what was at one time Milby's land. descriptions of where they buried the cannons actually described them going through a draw a little low-lying area about 400 yards one of them said actually about 400 yards from the bayou and right now we're about 400 yards from the, that bayou and there's a little draw right here this is where we found the cena tree so we're probably pretty close now the problem is we have sewer 